Hey guys, I'm Brandon Gaylor at Easy Trail Outdoors. Today we had a shipment come in from Pittman Creek. That's one of our wholesalers where we buy our tackle and all the fishing stuff for the store. We've got seven boxes here. I'm gonna go through these boxes and show you all the cool stuff we got and show you how we stock the store. We've got the first box here. We're gonna cut it open with the big iron knobs. Looks like we have a box of Guggen baits. We've got Bandito Bug. We have more Bandito Bug. Uh, Bandito Bug. Bandito Bug. And Bandito Bug. There's a whole box of Guggen Bandito Bugs. See what's in these boxes. Second box here, cut it open. These are pretty heavy, so they're probably all plastics. All right. Well packed. We've got some motor flushers. Um, these are the springs for your swim baits. We've got some little popper for bluegill, like popper fly assortments. We've got some drain plugs, silver buddies. Some Abby Garcia real wool. Um, some pliers. Eagle Paw hooks, cotton cordell spoons, A little small eagle call tape measure. That's kind of cool. We've never carried that before. Um, drop shot weights. Drop shot weights. Split shots. Some more spoons. I'll show you what these look like. More of the cotton cordell spoons. Mm, casting sinkers. Bobber stops. You gotta have these for flipping. Some bobber stops, plus your crappie guys will use them. More bobber stops. This just says heavy duty black. So let's see what this is. This is some wire leaders. I've had several guys requesting these. There's some musky fishing around here. That's what they really like. So the teeth on the musky don't cut their line. <clears throat> Casting sinkers. More casting sinkers, egg sinkers, 
the removable split shot weights and more of the split shot weights. So that was kind of terminal tackle box. Third box, we put some of this stuff up. Yeah, right, let's get this third box open. We have a Pittman Creek Fall Show Flyer, which we'll be going to. That's in about a month. We have stringers, more even cost sinkers. Eagle call hooks, more sinkers. You can see all the boxes. These look like sinkers. They're pretty heavy. You have egg sinkers, drop shot weights, drop shot. A metal snap stringer, egg sinkers, egg sinkers. Casting sinkers, some more casting sinkers, worm sinkers, more worm sinkers, and another box of worm sinkers. So that was pretty much all sinkers. Let's go with this box. It looks like some kind of rods. I think these are some Zepco 33 combos. Most of these rods, like these cheaper rods and combos, you have to order them by the count. So they'll be like six per box. You can't just order one. So we've got a Zepco 33 push button combo. Just like that, two piece. Just your basic cheaper fishing rod combo. This is how a lot of people get started. We'll set that off to the side. Two more boxes here. Metal traps. These are metal metal traps. There's three here in the spot. And these are gonna be three more, so there's not even use opening these. Here's our last box.
There's some, a rod spike holder to shove in the ground for bait fishing. And these are, looks like some more minnow traps. Yeah, it's a fish basket. Jumbo floating fish basket. <laughs> there are some smaller ones too. That's some pretty cool stuff. Not really the bass fishing stuff I like. We did get the Guggen baits in. That's kind of the cool stuff for me. This kind of stuff I don't really care that much about. But for the average person that just bank fishes and fishes for catfish and whatever else they want to catch, that's pretty cool. That's You have to have this kind of stuff to have a store. And we, I can't just carry bass fishing stuff, even though it's what I like. We sell to a lot of average fishermen that just bank fish on the weekends or once or twice a year, and this is the kind of stuff they need. Um, next, I'll have to go through these invoices and check off everything and make sure they ship me the right amount. So that takes a while, and once I do that, I put it the inventory in the computer. That way it keeps track of when we run low and out of an item, and I know when to reorder. So thanks for watching. You can see what I have to do anytime an order comes in. There's a lot of work to it. Um, having a tackle store is not just fun and games. There's quite a bit of work and organization that goes into it and knowing what to order because this is a pretty good amount of stuff. This is about $900 of items and that's not really that much. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Check back next time to see what we're doing here at Easy Trail Outdoors.